This video presentation will provide you with the steps to entering the POM interview into the CQL portal. To enter the POM interview into the CQL portal, you will first have to locate the POM survey within the CQL portal survey grid. For this example, I'm going to use the POM adult survey for Bob Johnson. To open the survey, I'm going to select the more button associated with the survey and then select continue survey. I have now successfully opened the POM adult survey for Bob Johnson. Now let's go through some of the tools that will assist you throughout the POM adult survey within the CQL portal. At the top right of the screen, you will notice a timer. This timer is set to 20 minutes and will count down due to lack of activity within the POM survey. You can refresh this timer two ways. You can click the refresh button next to the timer or anytime you click the next button to proceed to another section of the survey, or if you click the previous button to go back to a previous section of the survey, the timer will refresh. You will also receive a warning when the timer hits three minutes remaining in your session to refresh the survey. If the survey is to open without any activity being done for 20 minutes, the survey will close out. Now, you may be asking yourself, what if I'm working on the survey? I get up from my computer and then the survey closes out. Will I lose all of the progress that I've made? The answer to that question is no. The survey within the CQL portal has an autosave feature, which means anytime you enter a response to a survey question, the information is automatically saved to prevent any progress being lost if your survey closes out. So as you can see, if I answer one of the questions, it will say my changes have been saved. There's also a save answers button at the top of the screen, just in case you need a little extra reassurance. Now let's talk about the question and answer types of the POM survey within the CQL portal. Throughout the survey, you will notice some questions have an asterisk next to them. This means that the question is required to be answered prior to completing the survey. As you can see in the top right of the screen, the complete survey button is grayed out and I'm not able to click and complete the survey. This is because I have yet to answer all of the required questions. Responses to questions throughout the POM survey will vary. You will notice that we have date picker responses, multiple choice responses, text box responses, and responses where you can mark all that apply. This will allow you to select more than one response. Once you've completed a section of the survey, you can select the next button to proceed to the next section. If you do need to go back to a previous section of the survey, you can simply select the previous button. Now, let's talk about question dependencies. Throughout the POM survey, within the CQL portal, you will notice that questions may populate based on the response of a previous question. We call these question dependencies. These questions appear when there is follow-up information required based on the response of a previous question. So for example, for each of these items below, indicate whether any changes occurred over the past two years. The question is asking, did a change occur in place of residence? If I'm to select yes, another question will populate. You'll notice each of these questions that populate will have an asterisk next to them. This means this is a required question. Once you've completed the POM survey and answered all of the required questions within the CQL portal, you can click the complete button. 
You will then receive a message confirming that the status of the survey will be updated and the survey page will be dismissed. Click complete to confirm. And now I'm back to my survey grid and you can see the Palm Adult survey for Bob Johnson is completed. If any changes are needed to be made to the survey after it's been completed, you can select the more button and then click reopen survey. And the survey will reopen and go back into an in progress status. This concludes our video presentation on entering a POM interview into the CQL portal.